I think what parents and pastors need to do with their kids regarding entertainment is to help them evaluate it and examine it on a regular basis. So very practically, that means when my daughter comes to me and says, Dad, I want, I want to get this song, I want to download this song for my uh, iPhone. I'm going to say to her, let's, let's do this. Let's find the lyrics of that song and, and then let's read through the lyrics together first before we ever download that song and let's think about the message of that song. And so, so we're going to do that together. We're going to talk about it and say, okay, how does this message match up with the biblical story? How does this message match up with, with truth? And I don't care if it's a quote-unquote Christian song or a quote-unquote secular song. I want to know what's the message of that song and examine it with your kid first before you ever allow them to download that. And by doing that, you're getting them to think through not just, hey, I like this song or all my friends like this song, but what, what am I filling my heart and mind with? And we do the same thing with movies. So what I'll do with my kids, and I won't do this with every movie because otherwise you ruin it for your kids, okay? They'll never want to watch a movie with you again. But what you do is you take a movie periodically and throughout the movie, what you're going to do every 20, 30 minutes is you're going to stop it. You're going to pause that movie and you're going to have a conversation. And you're going to ask questions like, okay, who is the hero in this movie? Who's the bad guy? What's, uh, what are their actions? What's their character? Is someone who is immoral being set up as the hero of a particular story? Uh, what's the picture of the good life? What's being offered here as the moral good? Uh, what, uh, you know, what's the plot? What's, the, you know, what's this working to? What's the conflict? Ultimately, what's the resolution of the story? How does this thing get solved? And, and then how does this all match up with the biblical worldview? How does this match up with the story of Scripture? How does this match up with God's truth? And so you're having that conversation through, and what you're beginning to teach them to do is to not just be a passive consumer of entertainment, but when they do watch TV or listen to music or engage in entertainment, they're actively watching it. They're not just a sponge, but they're able to examine it as it's passing in front of them, as those images are flickering before their eyes. They're not going to just simply be absorbed and influenced by this thing. They're going to now be able to uh, protect their, their, their own hearts and minds from this as they engage thoughtfully with their entertainment. Thank you.